after causing and selling the fallopian tube through uh, tubal ligation, the woman will still live a normal life. The woman will still enjoy sexual intercourse. The, the only difference is that the sperm cell and the egg cell will never meet again. All right, guys, so here is a list of five organs in the body that you don't really need. It is not as if these organs are not important, just that you can still live a normal life if these organs are taken away from your body, if these organs are removed from your body. If you're new to this channel, my name is Oba Mike, and I've taught human anatomy and physiology for five years in two nursing colleges. I have an inexhaustible list of facts about the human body to share with you. So kindly subscribe to this channel to stay tuned. Number one, on the list of organs that you don't really need in your body is appendix. The appendix is a tube-like organ that is located in your abdomen. It is connected to the large intestine, the first part of the large intestine known as cecum. The appendix is a vestigial organ. Vestigial organs are structures in the body that have lost their functions through evolution. In other words, they were once useful to our ancestors, but currently not useful to us. Now, recent studies are actually claiming that the appendix has a role to play in our immune system, precisely in the storage of beneficial intestinal bacteria, the bacteria that helps in the formation of feces and uh, formation of vitamins in the large intestine. You know, some of these antibiotics that you take actually kill this useful intestinal bacteria. So what the appendix does, according to these studies, is to redistribute this bacteria to your large intestine after you've destroyed them with the antibiotics. The problem with the appendix is that it can easily get inflamed. It can easily get swollen. If anything blocks the entrance to the appendix, it will get swollen. And if, when this happens, it needs to be removed immediately to prevent the infection from spreading to the entire abdomen. So the swelling or inflammation of the appendix due to this blockage is known as appendicitis, while the removal of the appendix is known as appendectomy. Now, the fact is, many persons have had the appendix removed through appendectomy, and you won't even know. They are living a very normal life. So the appendix is one of those organs that you don't really need. So guys, number two on my list of organs in your body that you don't really need is the gallbladder. So the gallbladder is that little organ that is attached to your liver. That little organ that you always remove when processing your chicken, when processing your meat to avoid contamination. So the gallbladder has a very simple function. It receives bile from the liver, stores the bile, then releases the bile when you eat fatty food. So without bile, the body will find it very difficult to digest fat. It's like trying to wash oily plates without soap. But the fact is, the gallbladder is not the one that produces the bile. The bile is produced in the liver and then it is stored in the gallbladder. So if you have severe gallstones, which are solid substances that develop in the gallbladder, your gallbladder will have to be removed through a procedure known as cholecystectomy. After cholecystectomy, the liver will still be producing bile. So this bile will now be supplied directly to the small intestine. So there will be no tank to store this bile anymore. So you still live a normal life with just very few adjustments. Number three on my list of organs that you don't really need in your body is the spleen. So the spleen is also located in the abdomen, in the left side of the abdomen, close to the stomach, the pancreas, and the left kidney. So there are two things that the spleen does that I know. There are two simple things that the spleen does that I know. First of all, it stores and filter blood. And then secondly, while filtering this blood, it removes dead and damaged blood cells, like dead red blood cells, dead platelets, and dead white blood cells. But there's something about the spleen. It can easily get ruptured during an accident. And because it receives and stores so much blood, it is the most common cause of internal bleeding after an accident. And internal bleeding is an emergency condition. If the damage to the spleen is severe, if the internal bleeding is severe and cannot be controlled, the spleen might need to be removed through a procedure known as splenectomy. So splenectomy is a surgical removal of the spleen. After splenectomy, after removing the spleen, the person will still survive because the liver, the bone marrow, and even the kidney can do what the spleen does to some extent. So the person will still survive, just that the person will be prone to infections. So guys, if you've learned anything from this video, please just do a little, a little physical exercise by clicking on a like icon on your screen. And if you want to watch future videos, if you want to learn future, future things about your body, kindly subscribe to this channel to stay tuned. The many organs I'll be talking about in this video are your reproductive organs. The fact is, if you already have your children, there are some reproductive organs that you don't really need. You can still enjoy sexual intercourse without these organs. If these organs are blocked, you can still enjoy sexual intercourse. So for the men, one of the reproductive organs that you don't really need in your life after having your children is a vast difference, which is my number four. 
So the vas deferens is a long muscular tube that's about 45 centimeters. The major function of the vas deferens is to convey or transport sperm cells from the epididymis to the urethra during ejaculation. The vas deferens also stores sperm cells. If a man already has all the children he needs, but the wife is still young and fertile, the safest and most guaranteed means of preventing unwanted pregnancy is to cut and seal the vas deferens through a procedure known as vasectomy. After vasectomy, the man can still live a very normal life. The man can still enjoy sexual intercourse. The only difference is that he cannot transfer sperm cells to the woman, which is not really needed because he already has all the children he needs. So the fifth organ that you don't really need in your body for survival is the fallopian tube found in women. Like the vast difference, the fallopian tube is a long muscular tube and its function is to transport the egg cell from the ovary to the uterus. It is also a place where fertilization takes place. So for a woman that already has all the children that she needs, one of the safest means of preventing unwanted pregnancy is to cut and seal the fallopian tube through the procedure known as tubal ligation. After cutting and sealing the fallopian tube through uh, tubal ligation, the woman will still live a normal life. The woman will still enjoy sexual intercourse. The, the only difference is that the sperm cell and the egg cell will never meet again. So guys, I also have a video on five organs in your body that you cannot survive without. If anything happens to these organs, you will die instantly or within a few minutes. So you can check the link somewhere here to watch this video or in the description page of this video.